Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Christina speaking. Today is uh, August 9, 2023, and I hope you are doing well. And so I have a message from the Lord, but before I share it, I want to confess that I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who has come in the flesh on earth and died for our sins and was buried and rose on the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I go through the message of today, I want to share with you a word from the Lord, which is in Psalm 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Brothers and sisters, fear God. I want to remind you how important it is to come to Jesus Christ for repentance before it is too late. If you don't believe in repentance, you need to read your Bible and pay attention to um, which Bible you are reading because the Word of God is being changed, brothers and sisters. And so, if you don't believe in repentance, understand that you are being misled. Without repentance, no one will see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. In Luke chapter 5, verse 32. Jesus has come to call sinners to repentance, and so you are not an exception. The Lord talked about a first teaching that is going on these last days we are living in. He said that many are twisting the scriptures about repentance in teaching that our sins are forgiven yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And so, there is no need to repent, which means that we can live in sin and still go to heaven. This is a lie from the pits of hell, brothers and sisters. If it was true, why Jesus will have said in Luke 13, verse 3, he says, Unless you all repent, you will all perish. Brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. Time is very, very short. And so... Um, Romans 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Matthew 7 verse 21, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Yes, salvation is a gift through faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. But if we don't work to protect it, we can lose it. Yes, we can lose our salvation, brothers and sisters. The Lord wants you to read Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3 to see what God is telling the churches. Understand that we can lose our salvation if we don't work to protect it. I hope you are listening, brothers and sisters. Now I am going to um, to share with you the message from the Lord, and I will start with a word from the Lord. In Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. Let no one deceive you, 
by any means for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. The Lord said that the day is approaching. The son of perdition is about to be revealed. This is the coming of the Antichrist, spoken in Revelation 13. And so, uh, in order to understand about what is about to happen, and this is the end, brothers and sisters. And so, the Lord wants you to take time and read Revelation 13 and Ezekiel 7 and pay attention to verse 1 to 14. Revelation 13 is connected to um, Ezekiel 7, brothers and sisters. The end, the end, the end is coming. The day of the Lord is approaching, brothers and sisters. I'm going to read um, Ezekiel 7, only verse 12 and 14, but I'm going to read verse 12 and 13, but read from verse 1 to 14, and also you can read the whole chapter, Ezekiel 7. And so this is Ezekiel 7, verse 12 and 13. The time has come, the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is on the whole multitude, for the seller shall not return to what has been sold, though he must still be alive, for the vision concerns the whole multitude, and it shall not turn back. No one will straighten himself who lives in iniquity. Brothers and sisters, I hope you take these words very serious and be wise in considering the later end. That is the message from the Lord for all of us. The Lord wants you to keep in mind that those who will go in the tribulation must not take the mark of the beast. Whoever will take the mark of the beast will perish. There will be no second chance to be saved, brothers and sisters. Remember, you can avoid the tribulation. How? Have faith and live in obedience to God. Live a holy life. Hebrews 12 verse 14. Those are the words of God, brothers and sisters. We are watching for Daniel chapter 9, verse 27 to happen, and I believe it is about to happen. Daniel 9, verse 27 must happen before the rapture. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. Please go and read this scripture. Pray and seek the Lord for understanding and confirmation. Now I'm going to share with you uh, the message from the Lord. And this is um, about Mr. Trump again, his family, 
his followers and his partners. But the message is also for all nations, every person, brothers and sisters. I'm going to share with you a scripture from the Lord, Deuteronomy chapter 5 from verse 7 to 21. These are the commandments of God. Each person in the world must keep God's commandments. There is no exception. Deuteronomy chapter 5 from verse 7 to 21. Please read that scripture and examine your heart. I'm going to read verse 7, which is very important. Um, you shall have no other gods before me. The Lord is said that many leaders, including Mr. Trump, have made themselves gods. These leaders have many followers, partners, including their families. And these people are worshiping them. Brothers and sisters, if you are worshiping anybody than the Most High God, God of Israel. You need to stop that and come to Jesus Christ for repentance before it is too late. The judgment is coming and each person will be judged according to what she has done, good or bad. These leaders who have made themselves gods and people are worshiping them. They are provoking God to anger. The wrath of God is coming upon them if they don't repent. Now, I'm going to share with you a dream I had from the Lord in the beginning July this year and this is about Mr. Trump and his family and so in this dream I was taken to Mr. Trump's house his residence it seemed I was upstairs Mr. Trump and his family were missing it was total silence in the house while I was wondering what was happening. I heard a lot of noises in the basement of the house and so I went to see what was going on. Then I saw a band of people from street, men and women. They were celebrating in dancing, eating, drinking and smoking. They were all drunk. No one from Mr. Trump's family was present. The dream ended. A few months ago, I had another dream in which I saw Mr. Trump and his daughter, Ivanka Trump, saying all things they had they put everything on sale. I remember I wanted to buy some stuff I found very beautiful. But even though they reduced the price, things were still very expensive. 
in the end, nobody was able to buy the things. The dream ended. And so um, I prayed. I prayed seeking the Lord for discernment and understanding of this dream, brothers and sisters. The Lord gave me two scriptures and in my preview video about Trump, the Lord gave me these scriptures as well. And so he gave me Daniel chapter 4 and Daniel chapter 5. He said that in Daniel chapter 4, God isolated King Nebuchadnezzar for seven years. In Daniel chapter 5, Nebuchadnezzar's son, King Belshazzar, died suddenly because he mocked God. And so, the Lord showed me an isolation and sudden death that are coming upon Mr. Trump. I don't know how this is going to happen. And I don't know if the isolation I saw means the prison. But Mr. Trump is going to be isolated, then he will die. Regarding his family, everything will go down. Remember, in my dream, Mr. Trump and his family were missing, and also Mr. Trump and his daughter, Ivanka Trump, sold everything they had, even though nobody was able to buy the things. And so everything is coming down for them. They might not die, but I don't know what is going to happen for them, but please keep them in prayer. Who knows, maybe they will turn to God and repent before it is too late. I'm going to share with you uh, another scripture from the Lord, which is the reason why I am sharing this message, brothers and sisters. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18. When I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his, his life. That same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. Now I'm going to share with you another scripture and this is Jeremiah 18 verse 11 but please read from verse 1 to 11 because if the righteous pray with supplication God will hear our prayers and can stop what is coming upon these people. And so, Jeremiah 18 verse 11, 
Please read from verse 1 to 11. Verse 11 says, Now, therefore, speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am fashioning a disaster and devising a plan against you. Return now, everyone from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. God is so good, brothers and sisters. He does not wish anyone to perish. Ezekiel 23 verse 11 says, Say to them, As I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that wicked turn from his way and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways, for why should you die, O house of Israel? Brothers and sisters, you are warned. The Lord said that all nations must turn to him and seek him in a prayer, fasting and supplications as people of Nineveh did. Jonah announced the judgment upon people of Nineveh. Then they stopped everything they were doing. They turned to God in prayer, fasting, and supplications, including animals, and God saved them. I hope you are listening, brothers and sisters. Now, I am going to respond to one of the questions I got from one of my followers after I have shared a video, a message about Mr. Trump. Somebody wanted to know what God did say about President Joe Biden. The answer is no. God did not say anything specific to President Joe Biden. But God said that they are all the same, which means that all these leaders are all the same. They are working for Satan. They are sinning against the Most High God, brothers and sisters. In order to understand what people are doing, including these leaders, read Ezekiel 27. Ezekiel 27, Revelation 21, verse 8. And this is about fornication, sexual, immoral, adultery, murders, sorceries, lies, and many other evil activities. I'm going to give you the scriptures the Lord gave me. You need to read all those scriptures in order to understand what God is talking about. People who are sinning against him. Matthew 19, the Lord said that many are living in adultery, including pastors and priests and prophets. Galatians 5, verse 19 to 21. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 9 to 10. And many other scriptures. Brothers and sisters, each person, you and I, need 
to examine our heart. We need to examine how we stand before God before it is too late. The judgment is coming. And so um, I have shared many videos talking about the coming of the Antichrist. I have talked about Mr. Obama. A few years ago, maybe two years ago, I shared the message in which God showed me that the Obamas were coming back into the house. That video was not watched by many. Americans people, you president is not Joe Biden. You president is Barack Obama. Many cannot see it, but that is what it is. The Lord showed me many times that Mr. Obama is a part of the beast system. This man is going to do a big job for Satan during the reign of Antichrist. I hope you are watching, brothers and sisters, and be careful. I'm going to read another scripture before I finish this message. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. This is 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14. Brothers and sisters, the end is coming. I hope you are ready. I hope you have found Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, because he is the only one who is going to save you in coming days. Time is very, very short. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, turn to him right now, accept and receive him as your God and Savior. Believe and repent all your sins. Once you believe in Jesus Christ, you receive the word of God, you understand who Jesus Christ is, then get baptized of water and spirit. Unless you are born again, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Being born again means have faith, love God, obey him, and keep his commandments. Please share this video. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in your Son, his name, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.